Hi, I'm RK here and today we're gonna talk a little bit about state trees. State trees uh, for the third time, <laughs> but uh, with the release of Unreal Engine 5.2 uh, there has been some changes. Uh, and those changes include bug fixes, so now the states are working better, but also some additions like request state transition, which is pretty cool and I think it's gonna be a bit useful. Not super useful, but I think it has its place. Uh, so let's start from the beginning. I made a, a simple scene. As you know, I was working with my example uh, project, uh, FPP tutorial project, but I kinda uh, lost it. <laughs> Don't ask. So I made a new project, which is a very simple uh, third-person player template. I made a new character, which is just... Um, let's open a new content browser. Uh, it's just... Uh, a child of third-person character. So I just made a third-person character child called AI. And in that AI, I just made a state tree and a new state tree st AI or underscore AI. Uh, and this AI is supposed to just, you know, walk around, uh, wait for a bit, print something out, you know, loop around. So just a, just a testing sample scene. And this is how the state tree looks. But maybe we should start from the beginning so you know what you know what we're doing. Uh, if you didn't watch uh, any of my state tree videos, please do that. Uh, link links are down below. But if you are watching those, keep in mind that this is the updated video on the workflow and you know the most mm, the most updated. Uh, content. Uh, also, I don't know if you knew, but in 5.2 we have also global tasks, which there is not much to talk about. Global tasks are basically tasks that run with the tree and they, they don't have any transitions. So, for example, if we uh, place a STT debug, which is just my sample task that prints debug, nothing else. Uh, okay, this is... Uh, okay, let's remove that. We'll, we'll, we will come back to that in a moment. So we just need an actor. Actually, we don't need an actor. <laughs> Never mind, it's just supposed to print. So my bad. We just want to print that this is a debug string, nothing, nothing else. So now, if we run that state tree, so we start simulate, we see the debug state is called. So that global tasks start with the tree and has no transitions. So even if we call a transition on uh, on that global task, which is not possible with uh, <laughs> with standard methods because there is no uh, category for that for transitions on global tasks but we can with new node uh, trigger a transition but even with that it won't happen so the transition won't be allowed so pretty cool thing I think uh, it's kind of um, has its place in your code like evaluators because uh, it works in the similar way uh, evaluators also start with the tree and you can drag those uh, variables out so I don't really know why global tasks would be better in some cases but maybe you figure it out and uh, tell me in the comments down below uh, okay moving on um, what's fixed uh, we have a fixed enter state so as you may have noticed when you use your state tree and as I said in the 
uh, first video, uh, if you plug, you know, succeeded on enter state in the previous version, it, it didn't work, so it didn't trigger transition. And in 5.2, uh, it's uh, supposed to be fixed. So if you run some code here and, you know, mark it as succeeded, then it should work fine. Just say. I didn't really test it, but I think it should be fine. We can test it real quick. So let's remove the global task. And let's make a new child state, call it Rome. And add a new child state called weight. And for weight, we just have uh, a basically stock task that, that comes with uh, Unreal called delay task which works very, very well. Let's uh, make a duration of two seconds. And after those two seconds on state completed, we want to go back to root so we can, you know, roam again. And on tasks, on roam, we're gonna pick a state tree task that I made here. So it's just, you know, a normal state, uh, state tree task that doesn't have too much. Of course, it, uh, it has the target state, but I will come back to that note later. Uh, important thing is just, uh, you know, we don't even need to do that. Uh, we just want to see the transition. So, okay, control B, control B. Okay, there, there was a shortcut that I just made that made me go back to Okay, control B actually <laughs> and uh, opens the level uh, tab. So that's interesting. Kind of worked with the engine for three years, more th four years now. And I just noticed that control B you know, snaps you back to <laughs> level. Nice. <laughs> Every day you learn something, right? Uh, okay, uh, on enter state, we want to print a string roam state and just mark it as succeeded so this uh, should trigger roll and on transition state completed whatever we want to go to the next state nice yeah we still need to bind that that's gonna be useful later so now if this works then it should go to the wait uh, wait state and the wait state after two seconds should uh, should go to root and then we should you know have a loop so let's see if that works roam state roam state roam state so yeah it works i don't know if that was two seconds <laughs> maybe let's let's try five just to be sure that it works. Rome state. Rome state. Okay, so this is fixed. Very, very nice. And let's move on. Uh, let's. Um, this is final state completed. And we want to actually remove a transition for now. Because I want to show you finally the, the new node. Um, from 5.2 and it's called uh, let's put this back running it's called state tree request transition and let's kind of deconstruct see what's there so first thing first we see that we have a target state so as the name suggests we can plug in a target state but if we make that uh, that struct, then we don't have any pins. We don't have any options. That's because that's a ref. That's a reference. So we can't really make a struct of it. We can just promote it to a variable. So, you know, drag it, promote to variable, you have a state, a uh, target state. And in that target state, you see we have a dropdown with none, next state, three succeeded and three failed, which is equivalent to 
um, to a transition, a transition to. So we have a trigger, you know, state completed, succeeded, failed, whatever, and then we transition to, and as you see, we have a same dropdown as in our state uh, state uh, tree task. So target state. Uh, you see, non next state tree succeeded, tree failed. Uh, next state basically you know, uh, switches the state to a sibling state, so that would uh, switch us to to wait. And on wait, if we would pick next state, then of course we would have an error that says uh, there is no sibling state, <laughs> basically. And tree succeeded, tree failed, uh, completes the tree. So if you want to have a looping state or a looping tree, then you probably don't want to pick that because it just ends the tree and you have to start it again. Okay, uh, so as you may notice, if we, if we have that uh, drop down, so transition to, without having have to use trigger, then we don't need to use uh, transition at all. Uh, with that, we can just mark it as instance editable and in that row we can pick target state right here. And additionally, if you pick that instance editable, then you also have all the states in the state tree. So you can directly go from one state to another whenever you call that node. We can test it by uh, connecting all of that together. This is just basically a code for moving in random places in reachable uh, radius. Of course, I have a nav mesh here, so we can only move here. And uh, connect that on success. So if you uh, if the AI manages to reach the destination, we want to trigger the transition to the target state we pick. Uh, if we pick it from the state tree, we of course don't have to pick it here. And in the state tree, we have to uh, pick something. So next state or ROM or wait, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna just pick next state, but it will work with any of those. So we just want to go to wait and the wait will do what wait does the best. So waiting and going back to state root, uh, state root, right, state root. And let's decrease it to two seconds. And one thing you can notice now that if we uh, use that, so target state, and we skip the transitions altogether, we still have that error missing transition. So that's one, I guess, inconvenience if you don't use transitions uh, down here, that you don't know what is really happening. So you don't have those uh, first plane view uh, on the transitions, which might be a problem, might not be a problem, depends on your workflow, of course but that's something to keep in mind. Let's see if that works. Uh, Rome state triggered, we have a wait and we have Rome state again. So very, very nice. Uh, this is working well. And if we pick, of course, you now three succeeded, then it just calls once, waits two seconds, well, actually, it doesn't wait two seconds. It just completes the state tree, right? Tree succeeded, it doesn't go to wait. It just ends the tree. Okay, so not much to talk about, really. <laughs> it's a very, uh, very cool node. Not super useful, probably, but it's uh, it's, a, it's an alternative to end event. Uh, as... Uh, you may remember there is something that's called send event that I talk about uh, in the first video, which I thought would work and should work <laughs> in the state tree, but turns out it shouldn't work internally in the state tree. This should, 
and this was missing in 5.2. So now we have, you know, direct transitions from the, uh, from the state tree and this sense event is just to be used uh, in the uh, AI BP. So if we go to the BP, we get the state tree and now we have send state tree event and that's basically its purpose it shouldn't be used uh, internally in the state tree tasks so uh -uh. <laughs> all right this is this is for internal use uh, okay uh, moving on um, we talked we talked about uh, the new node but there is also something I want to talk about, which I um, said is a bug in the in the previous video, and that is uh, making childs of state tree tasks. This was uh, bugged in 5.2, but it is now working five, uh, fine in 5.2. So I'm gonna tell you what what I mean uh, if we go to our folder with, uh, with state trees, you'll see I made something called STTC base, which is basically just a state tree task right here. We make this and in C base, we're actually using the, the old workflow, but this makes it quite, uh, quite nice to use updated and such. Uh, so the old workflow, uh, actually I didn't talk about that <laughs> workflow yet. Uh, I said that you need to make um, a new uh, enum for this to work, but turns out you just, you know, can uh, drag out the return node, return value, and just, you know, promote to variable and it's fine. So do that in that uh, new child of stt promote to variable and you have a return state then of course you do that on tick so override tick and do that on the tick save it and now you can make a state tree task based on the new base that we made already so stt c base you make a child from that new class. And now we have C row, which is a very, very same state tree tasks, task with one difference. We don't have to override the tick because it's overridden in the, uh, in the base class. And we also have that return state that we can set, you know, whenever we want to, and it will be called on the next tick and, you know, go to next state if necessary and we can test it uh, as well um, by switching that stt rom with stt c rom because that's how i how i called it and we have an error because i didn't bind an actor we need an actor for of course i move to node we don't have a transition shown but we are not using that. Oh, oh wait, we are now using that. <laughs> okay, we weren't using that in uh, in the target state, but now we have to use the the transition. So on state succeeded, we go to next state, and we can of course add on state failed, go back to root, whatever. So it's nice. So now we have a quite ease of use with that quite old workflow but it's it's i think the best we can do and we also have those transitions visible so as good as that node looks like i think the old workflow but updated with the uh, with the parent class i think it's it's the way to go so let's uh, test it wrong we we hooked everything up Let's see. Serum state, very nice. Serum state, it loops, it works. 
and it's nice. I think 5.2 is, is the moment where not everything works yet, <laughs> like removing this global task for some reason. I, I, I can't remove it, but <laughs> most of the things that are important work and I think it's it's gonna be fun using the state tree from now on. Okay, so, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something new and uh, the knowledge <laughs> I, I just passed to you is, is gonna be useful. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.